Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will explain you step by step how to create this very beautiful login Oracle Apex page. And as you can see here in this blog post, you will find all these different information, also the code. It will help you easily to copy and paste. So here is the login page. You can see if I refresh the page, it every time comes the very nice design. And also if I write, for example, here, any username and password and then if i write here sign then you can see i got here the error message so how to create this i will show you here in this video step by step what i only used is this css code and only this one image so let's get started first of all i will log in here into my oracle apex workspace after login you can see now i will create here a new application for example the name for the application will be login template number one then i will create the application and run after running you can see this is the standard oracle apex login page and what we can do now is yeah make it beautiful so i will go back here open the shared components in the new tab and will upload here one file so to upload any image or any file you can go here shared component static files and then create file um, i have here already prepared one image and i can easily make here drag and drop so after this i will click here on the create button then you can see the image is successfully uploaded and this is the path we will need it later so go back here to the page designer on the page 9999 this is our login page we will create here a new static region and we will define first of all the title for example back background ground image so then we have to define here the position for example we will select here the background image and we have to also select the template the template will be image after selecting the image then you will see that here something uh, something with the file url appear and it's mandatory so you remember we have up uploaded here the image i will copy this path and will paste it so that's it after i will uh, save this and run then you can see we have now here in the background the image so the next step is to design this region so i will open this region and you can see this is this one i will define to this region one static value um, so you can write for example here under the appearance for the css class css class one name i have also prepared for example i will write here my custom login design so it's good why it is good because for example if i run the page and now i check here in the i check here then you will see here we can we have here um, define our custom CSS class and now we can set exactly for this CSS class different um, styles so it's also good because if we um, store all of this CSS on the global side then nothing will happen in the full application so so the next step is to create the CSS file. I will go back here to the shared components, static files and create here a file. The file name will be, for example, global CSS. Uh, no, I, I write here global.css and I will create this. So now you can see here is our reference and in this file, I can write all of the different CSS and I will reference this CSS to the application. So I will open again here the shared components, go to the application definition and user interface, go a little bit down and then you can see here CSS and file URLs. So I will paste this here, apply change and I can close this. So why I am doing um, this way? So as you can see here, here is our global CSS file. All of my code will be saved directly here in the global CSS file. It's very good uh, because, for example, if I if I put my CSS code here on the different pages, if, and if my application is very big, so it's difficult to see or to understand where is my CSS code. So it's very easy if all of my CSS code is stored here in the global CSS file, and yeah, I can easily change or manage, and yeah, it's very easy, and it's also perfect. So, and that is the best way to store the CSS directly outsourced here in the file. Um, yeah. So if I close this, 
and refresh the page then you can see here is nothing and after i put for example here some code directly for this class and the background is transparent i will make here save and refresh here the page then you can see now the region where we have defined the class is now transparent and yeah i have also prepared here the full code if i paste all of this code only for this region then let's see what happens so i refresh here the page and now you can see this transparent region get a very nice beautiful borders round borders and with corner borders so what we can also do is for example you can see here we have here two different items and then we have here also the button and you remember if i put here any css code it will um, be valid for all the applications so if we also um, have in the application later on other pages these different items or buttons so it will also be replaced but to handle this what we have done is we you remember we have created here on this page for this region this for this one my custom login design and here in the css i will say only this apex field also only this input field or only this button which are um, in this region only these will be replaced by the css code so for example if i enter this then you can see here this is my diff css cloud and here is the apex item text and then again the css class of the region and here is the button it will become the border radius 20 so i will save this and replace uh, refresh and then now you can see we have here the round borders of this item and also here round border of the bottom and yeah that's it and if if i remove from here only this css class and save and refresh then you can see here is the original apex layout the template design and only if i put this css class here and save and run the page then you can see here we have the beautiful design so i hope you are also able to create this template if you have any question you can write me here in the comments and thanks for watching